All right, so you're thinking about upgrading to like an M50 or maybe an M200 for your live stream, and I'm gonna go over everything that I use in order to use these cameras with my stream. So my setup consists of a Elgato HD60S Plus capture card that the Canon run the HDMI out of the camera into that. And what's nice about that is it allows me to use it with all of my other programs, meaning I can get into a Discord video call, I can get into a Skype call, it, it recognizes that capture card as a video capture device, and then the, it picks up the camera signal. And that is really, really what I was after. Keep in mind, I do work with, with Macs, I'm not on PC, so this is the first Elgato capture card that really plays nice with Macs. So that's, that's my setup. I'm also running USB into the computer and I have the EOS Utility 3 come on automatically and that keeps the camera from shutting off every half hour. I have a video on that as well if you need more details, but it's essentially that, that keeps the camera from shutting off. So HDMI out of the camera into the capture card, USB into the computer, and then the last thing you will need to keep this camera on is an AC adapter. And I will have a link for that in the description as well. And that just allows you to keep the camera plugged in so it's getting uh, constant power and you're not constantly trying to change batteries because that's just a complete pain in the butt. And that's what I had to do when I first started using this camera until I had the, uh, the AC adapter showed up. So as far as your settings, this is important, okay? My settings are this. I'm at 1 60th of a second. I have my, my aperture set to 2.0. I'm using the 22 millimeter F2 EFM lens from Canon. All right, so that, that F2, it's gonna, let, it's gonna let a lot more light in. So keep that in mind. If you're just using the kit lens, right, the, the, you're gonna be able to set it to 3.5. And so if you're if you're struggling getting getting enough light, bump your ISO up. Okay, I'm at an ISO of 320 right now. I have one Elgato key light uh, illuminating my face, and that's my only light source right now. If you're using your kit lens at 3.5, it's all the way, it's as high as you can get it to let in maximum light, just bump the ISO up until you look good. And if if you don't have enough of a light source, your ISO is, you may need to get like some key lights or some ring lights or something that will help illuminate your face. Now, when I'm live on Twitch and my green screen is up, I even have my overhead, uh, my overhead, I put 100 watt bulbs in my overhead light to keep my to keep my green screen well illuminated so that it looks good with the gameplay. So that is my setup for streaming with the M50. The it, for the clean HDMI, which is another video I did, you do have to turn the autofocus off, and so and then just hit the info button on the back of the camera, and that takes away all the information that is that is around you and just you just see this picture right now you're you're seeing uh, a clean hdmi uh, picture from the m50 as i'm as i'm recording this again the autofocus has to be turned off if you leave it on you're going to see square boxes that will go around your eyes and your face you'll always be in focus but you you don't want your stream seeing that so make sure those are off once the webcam utility is out of beta this thing, you're gonna be able to have your autofocus on at the same time, and you won't need the capture card either. I make podcasts through Discord, and I need to have, you know, do video calls. I need to use the capture card in order to have this camera be my webcam, and uh, eventually that webcam utility will take the place of that, and that's gonna be, it's gonna be great, especially to have the autofocus on all the time. So that is how I have set up the M50 to be able to stream on Twitch. I hope this helps you. If you got any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'll be making a lot of different reviews about this camera, the lenses for it, and uh, also just lots of stream tips. So make sure to subscribe if uh, that's something you're interested in. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.